Welcome to Black and Gold Today, sponsored by Cadillac of New Orleans. I'm Jim Derry. Well, it's that time of the week when we forget about what has gone on since Sunday, as tough as it might be to let go of such good times, and look forward to Sunday and the visiting Dallas Cowboys. And although they're 2-1, and one, the boys from Big D are feeling a similar kind of pain as those in the Big Easy. They're without their star quarterback, Tony Romo, and one of the league's top playmakers and wide receiver, Des Bryant, and they're not sure when they're getting either one back. So we have one team with their backs against the wall, traveling to face another, attempting to keep their backs from being broken. To find out what all this means, let's bring in Saints beat writer Larry Holder of Dat Chat fame. And Larry, what's in store for us on Sunday night? Well, I know we're going to get to our prediction in the next segment, but uh, I think the Saints, they're going to try to move the football a little more with explosive plays. Sean Payton talked about how just the short passes and the intermediate passes, a lot of what we saw from Luke McCown, that's not going to habitually get it done. He's already right. talked about C.J. Spiller. They need to have him more involved in the game. I agree, to both running and catching the football. So I think they're going to try to open things up. Now, are we going to see Drew Brees? I still think that's a bit up in the air, and yet it's more positive than negative as far as him trying to play this week, considering he's throwing in practice and limited, not just handing the ball off in practice. He's actually out there throwing passes. So uh, I anticipate maybe some more offense from the Saints team. What's the morale of this team? Uh, does it seem like uh, they feel like the ship's sinking or do they think they can turn it around? I think right now they still don't think it's sinking. But if you go 0-4, I, I think they know that it's nearly impossible yeah. for anyone to come back from that. I think it's only one team, and I think it was the 98 Bills, something like that, that's come back from an 0-4 start. Uh, I, well, I think San Diego's done it as well. But So it's really rare for that to happen. and so, uh, But you can look kind of after the game, you can look at last week's game, some of the veterans, you're talking to them, and I, you, you can almost feel that they know it's close to being a wash. And so this is a critical game, and I think everyone there knows it. Even the young guys, I think it's ingrained in them that, look, if you can't get a win and you start off 0-4, the season's in massive trouble. You know, the the Saints went 0-4 the year that uh, Sean Payton was suspended, and that, that team had a different feel. It, it was kind of like they just burst into the season. They weren't sure what was going on, and then they had like this rally in them. This team doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to have that kind of feel where they could muster a rally. I mean, that's, that's why this game, I think, at home in the Dome, it's not going to be any easier for them to, to play with the crowd behind them and all those sorts of things. So, I mean, you know, it's do or die. Right, pretty much. And you look at 07, that happened too. They went 0-4. They were able to bounce back to 4-4. and In 12, they started off, what, 0-4 oh, and, uh, and got to 2-4 and four under right. Aaron Cromer, got back to 5-5, five and five, then lost three games in a row, went to 5-8 and eight and was over. So uh, it's such a tall task. I mean, you're scratching and clawing just to get back to 500 when you dig yourself such a hole. So vital game. I mean, we've talked every week on this show on Friday, must win, must win, must win. They all have been and they haven't been and they haven't gotten it done. And they're must wins because you're getting to this point and the season is on the brink. Well, I mean, this is really the last must win. If they don't win this one, it doesn't matter really much after this. Absolutely. I mean, they still go in and they still play games and they're fighting for jobs, but it's almost an impossible turn for them to turn things around. What do you think the Dome's going to be like Sunday night? I'm curious because yeah, so I'm wondering if there's some no-shows because it's a Sunday night and they figure the Saints aren't playing very well. Typically, it's a raucous atmosphere. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the same way. And, and I think the Saints fans, they have a different feel around this losing start because of everything we're talking about. It just feels like it's the end of this season. It's yeah. the end of an era. And I think Saints fans uh, are almost starting to come to grips with that. Now, if they can turn it around and get it going and they start that Sunday night, I think you can get them back on board. But I think that's a very important point uh, when we go on, uh, into the Dome on Sunday. Well, I found it interesting on some of my social media feeds, there have been quite a few tickets uh, to, ah. to, be, to be able to be had. Are so. they cheap? Uh, not yet, but we'll t I bet you if they lose this one, they'll start they'll, oh, they'll, start they'll start be given freebies. Well, y'all hang around. Larry and I are going to be back with our uh, weekly picks right after this.
What's one of the nicest things that comes with your new Cadillac from Cadillac of New Orleans? 0% interest. Get 0% interest on all new Cadillacs, now at Cadillac of New Orleans. New owners, new attitude, on Lime Street and Rye in Metairie. Well, it's that time of the week again, and uh, you know, you, you've, been, you've been right since that Tampa Bay thing? I'm two and one. Okay. I'm so. two and one. The Saints are 0 and three. I'm two and one. All right, well. I am one and two, so let's uh, see what we got here. Look, I'm not picking them to win until they actually win. So if they win this week, say I'm wrong. But I'm going Cowboys 24, Saints 23, and the season is on the brink. Well, we talked about how the, we don't know what the Dome's going to be like. I have a feeling it's Sunday night. You know, Saints fans are tend to go out a little early, maybe three, four o'clock, and three, four o'clock. They might be out there oh, eight in the morning. Oh, they might be. They'll have a little liquid gold in their hands. Uh, I think they're going to be fired up by the time the game goes on. I think it's going to be a fun game. I think NBC is going to get their money's worth. Um, Brandon Whedon is not Tony Romo, and Cole Beasley and Terrence Williams aren't Des Bryant. I, I like the Saints' chances in this one, and if you know. I'm with you. If, if this one's over, if they don't win this one, that's it. But I, I say Saints 34, Cowboys 27. Mm -hmm. and if I'm wrong, you won't have to worry about a thing. We'll have the Kleenex ready next week. Well, Jim, we're winners, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Enjoy the game, everybody. We'll see you Monday, my friends.